Well, folks, welcome to uh, another edition of Canada's Hawaiian Island. It's uh, May 27th today, 2012, and I'm at an undisclosed location here on Salt Spring Island, and uh, in one of the better microclimates. Canada is divided into different growing zones, from uh, Zone Zero to Zone 9A. And this would be a Zone uh, 9A garden, or at least the high end of Zone 8B. And uh, the roof is in the pudding when you see what grows here. Uh, behind me here are uh, Trachycarpus fortunae plums that are taller than the house. This is a male right here on the right, and on the left is a female. And uh, the, the, this one's in full bloom. And uh, the female this year, she's way behind. I cut a lot of seeds off that one last year. Looks like she may be taking a break. There's a male over here to the right as well in full bloom. And I'll grab the camera and I'll show you. Here's a, a huge camera of Tulo's plant. This one was planted around uh, 16 or 17 years ago. So it's a Mediterranean fan palm. These are Chinese windmill palms. Uh, in here, coming into bloom, also is a Trachycarpus Wagnerianus. And there's a Butia capitata behind it, which is a pinnate species. And uh, there's some uh, yucca. Uh, looks like the Curvifolia in bloom here as well. Some huge pedicytes. And I see some Icofia in bloom here as well. Some uh, large fatsia trees on this side. On that side is the ocean. And uh, we have bananas, butillas growing down there. There's large fig trees and uh, lots of other goodies. So I will grab the camera and I will uh, show you exactly what this garden looks like. I'll give you a little tour of it. So there's a male palm in bloom right there, Trachycarpus fortunae. It's actually a double whammy. There's a, another trunk coming out the side here at the base. So it's obviously two palms, but that's what the flowers look like. Lots of flowers on that, and lots of pollen coming off of that tree. And uh, there's the Camarops humulus, huge Mediterranean fan palm. There's a large hedge of pseudo Pseudosasageponica bamboo. Lots of sun down here. It's a southwest facing uh, sort of alcove. And so it's very, uh, very, very sheltered from strong winds. And it's got the 100% ocean influence right there. Doesn't get any better than this for good microclimates. This is a Trachycarpus wagnerianus, female, coming into bloom. It's got smaller, stiffer fronds than the Fortunae palms. And you can see the, um, the yuccas blooming right there. There's a Choice Eternata in bloom. That's Mexican orange. There's actually a Dixonia antarctica here as well, a small tree fern. Now, where is that tree fern? Oh, there it is right there. Little Dixonia pushing out fronds. It's such a mild location. Another Trachycarpus palm. There's Fatsia japonica trees here and they got fruit on them. And there's one of the tiki's I carved. I carved that last, I guess it was last June or July I carved this for the owners of this property. I wanted a tiki in here. It kind of goes good with the uh, tropical garden. So that's one of my chainsaw creations. But this is a spectacular and prime growing location. You can see the Butia capitata in here. That's a pindo palm. It's got the feather fronds on it and a large trunk. Nothing gets protected in this garden. It's all survival of the fittest. There's nobody here most of the time. It's pretty much vacant year-round. There's some Delosperma cooperi there. Those are ice plants and self-seeded Trachycarpus palms around them. Wisteria in bloom. There's a large fig tree there, Ficus carica, loaded with figs. And uh, going down to the ocean's edge here, we have uh, Lots of interesting plants. There's a small Recurvifolia yucca. And these are, uh, looks like yellow flag water irises that are growing in a wet spot there. Musa baju, Japanese fiber banana. There's a large stand of Phyllostachys bambuzoide, timber bamboo. And one of my favorites in the garden is a large Butia capitata. This one was planted, I guess, around 18 years ago. And it's uh, never had anything done to it. Look at the size of the spears coming out of this thing. Huge center spears. Beautiful palm, large trunk. Put my boot on it so you can see the size of it. This is a big, this is a big plant. Big palm tree. Love the Ganera manicata. There's a southern magnolia grandiflora growing in there. There's a bronze. Uh, that is, well, that's not cordyline, that's formium tenex bronze. Purpurea. Uh, filamentosa yucca right there. And there's the variegated formium tenex. See what else we have in here. There's more palms growing underneath there. Just absolutely beautiful. 
So you walk through these palm trees here. Males in bloom right here. That's a hybrid male, Trachycarpus. This is a Trachycarpus fortuni here, uh, male in bloom. And uh, there's a Wagnerianus down here too. Oh, that's a Waggy, sorry. My, my, uh, my bad, that's a Trachycarpus Wagnerianus. This is a Trachycarpus hybrid here, and it's a female. So I've collected seed off that one before. You got Fremont to Denderm in bloom here, and there's bees in it already. This is a tree. Some more yuccas growing underneath there. Spectacular uh, view to the uh, white crushed shell, shell beach. And uh, down below here we have a sable miner, native to the southeastern United States. That's a beautiful palm. There's some uh, Daphne, Loreola, Spurge, and uh, there's some Euphorbia, special one, variegated. Um, there's the sable miner. Looks like somebody cut some fronds off and it wasn't me. And there's some uh, Yucca Gloriosa Superba with a flower spike coming out. Large Cordyline Australis tree, Formium Tenex here. And there's the Ganera Manicata. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a huge Eucalyptus Dolerium Pleana there. There's actually a Livestona chinensis palm around the other side of the house. And uh, more Bambuzoide over there, Phyllostachys, Bambuzoide in a fig tree. So there's uh, many exotic gardens like this on Salt Spring Island, uh, hidden in the best microclimates. Um, I'll show you the size of this trunk here, of the cordy line. There's my hand, and I have very large hands, so that gives you an idea how big it is. That's a big cordy line trunk. Another banana coming up there. Pretty cool place, huh? Grow it all here on Salt Spring Island. And uh, plants don't lie, that's for sure. When you see long-term plants like this, you know you're in a good microclimate. There's some native spathlifolium, sedums spathlifolium, and another type of sedum growing here on the rocks. So the native sedums are in bloom right now, right there, and those are fragrant. So that's sedums spathlifolium. We also have native cactus on Salt Spring, and it doesn't grow too far from here. It's Opuntia fragilis. So there's an overall view of the garden. I'll go up here. Boy, this gunner has taken off. It's in a wet spot, so it sucks up a lot of water. This camera ops is freaking huge. European fan palm, Mediterranean fan palm, whatever you want to call it. So there's an overall view of the garden. On a beautiful May day on Salt Spring Island. Canada's banana belt.